Hi everybody, I'm Kirsty Meeking from Nail Nails. In this video, we're going to do some, I want to say whips and chains, it's not whips and chains, it's leather belts made out of gel. Not for wearing, I suppose the Barbie could wear it, though a Barbie or a Cindy doll, <laughs> maybe. Hmm, keep watching. So I'm going to start by laying down my background colour, which is Candy Apple, which is super bright, pillar box red. There's actually one called pillar box, I think. Is there? <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's called Candy Apple. It's very red, very pigmented. I'm going to do two coats of this colour. Look at that red. It's so nice. I don't think you can beat a set of red nails, to be honest. I'm going to seal with top coat. And pop that into the lamp. So that's what we're going to be working on today. I'm going to set this aside. Now that's all cured. And what I'm going to do is take some backing paper from the sculpting form. You can see where I've had a little play with this already. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a line of top coat first of all. So you can just spread it as wide as the brush goes. That's all you'll need. You won't need it any thicker than that. What you want to make sure it does is you don't get this. I don't know if you can see this. I'll try to get it on Adam's camera. Can you see where it's splitting? And there. Mm -hmm. You don't want that to happen. That means you haven't got enough top coat on there. You don't want any gaps. So just put a little bit more on. And then cure that. Now, once that's cured, you're going to take your colour, whatever colour you're going to use. Now, today I'm using Serious Black. I love a bit of black and red. Do you know what it reminds me of? Michael Jackson Thriller. He's over here. God, look at that thing. Look out! Can we get out of here? No, I'm enjoying this. Now, we're going to do a coat of this. Now, I only want to do one coat because I don't want it to be too thick. But I obviously don't want it to look grey. So you can see if I left it like that, it's a bit streaky, it's not, it's not coloured enough. So we want an even layer of product. So that's that layer. We're going to cure that layer as well now. And then we're going to top coat. So a layer of top coat. We're sandwiching the colour. And it doesn't matter if you go on the outside of it. Then we're going to pop that into the lamp. So we have our little strip of black. What we're going to do is peel that off and this is what we're going to use for our leather. So we're going to cut this. Oh, I've got some scissors but they're curved which is great for cutting curved things but I want some straight so I have some really big scissors that are just from the kitchen. Yes there's a kitchen here in the studio. Adam pretends he's a chef in the kitchen from time to time. So I'm going to cut that excess off there. Then I'm going to cut another line. We want a thin strip of the gel. Now 
Now what I'm going to do with that is I am going to put that in the lamp again because sometimes, because you're exposing gel under here, sometimes you might find parts that aren't completely cured. I mean it does look pretty cured at the minute but just to double check I'm going to pop that piece into the lamp. While that's in there I'm going to cut another strip. So we've got our strips. One side will be shinier than the other. I don't think that really matters though. That's more like PVC, isn't it? I'd say that's more like leather. What I'm going to do is, you know the little metal pieces we have? Well, we have some little circles. Now, these ones are super tiny. We have a slightly bigger one. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut this at an angle, like that. Then, I'm going to fold it over like that to create like a little buckle. So, I'm going to pop a tiny bit of glue where those two pieces of gel meet. So, I'll hold that still for a few seconds just while that secures. I'm going to cut this one here at an angle, so using the same piece. And we're going to do the same thing, making sure... I want to see this little joint. I like this. I think it makes it look more like a belt. It makes it look more realistic. Even though I know you don't always see that part, but I like it. I love, I love, I love it. Right, so we're going to hold that, pop a bit of glue there as we did before. I can so make little belts for little Barbie dolls. <laughs> so we've now got a little, oh, how gorgeous does that look? Look at that. That's so cool. Right, I'm going to set that aside for a moment. And then what I'm going to do with this one is just figure out how, how much of this I'm going to put on. Because we're going to put like, the buckle will go through the middle. Then we can have a strap there and a strap there. This is the fiddly part. I suggest that you give it a bit of a roll in your fingers just to make it bend a little bit. And then when you pop it on, it's got a curl straight away. Right, so I'm going to put the glue on the back of the strap. Gonna stick to my fingers. Once it's in position, you're gonna hold it. I'm gonna do the same with this top one as well. Slide it into position. Don't worry about the glue that's on the nail that you can see because we are going to top coat between each of the leather straps because we want them to stay on. Right, so now we're gonna take the little belt one we did. We're gonna fit that one as well. I'm not going to cut that one until it's actually on the nail. So I'm just going to... A little bit of glue. A little bit of glue. Move the glue. Ah! Hold that down. Just going to let that settle before I cut those pieces off. We're gonna get a little bit of Snow White and a little bit of Serious Black, only a little dot. And I'm gonna mix them together to create a grey. And what we're gonna do with that grey is on the leather straps, we're going to paint tiny little stitch marks. Do you know what else you could use this for, this design? Like a Santa's belt. If you were doing a little Santa. Christmassy nail then. Mm. So like 11 months time. Yeah. <laughs> Just getting prepared. So just do that on the outside edge of 
each of those little straps. I'm going to cure that. Now that's set, I'm going to cut these edges. And now we're going to use the little studs. So these tiny studs, we're going to pop these on the belt. We're going to secure them on with a little bit of top coat. So we want a little bit of that on to some backing paper. Once that's in place, I can flash cure that and then we can put the rest on. So what we're going to do now, because we want this to stay on, because, you know, we could just leave it like that, but we want it to stay on. And what we're going to do, get a bit of top coat, go straight up, don't go on top, it's just basically sealing the edges of the belts. And that'll help everything stay on. So you're just going in between. And just let the gel top coat just kick up to the side of the belt. Right, so that'll settle for a second so it's nice and smooth and then pop it into the lamp. I love that. Something quite sexy about it. I think it's because it reminds me of Michael Jackson. <sighs> Maybe we should bring Michael along. So this this is Michael. Um, Michael actually travelled all the way from LA. Really? All the way, all the way from LA. This is. All right. I got it from um, Hollywood Boulevard with a shop, and um, he travelled all the way on the airplane in the. Harry Steffi's luggage compartment. Because <laughs> when I turned up at the airport, they were like, mm, yeah, how are you going to... I was like, I know it's a bit different to try and travel with something like this, but can I? And they were like, oh, we'll sort it out. And they were like, he's all tucked up, he's all safe. He's all, you know, nice. And he made the journey and he's still in one piece. I have no idea what I'm going to do with him because this was like, you know, about seven years ago. But I still got him there. It's just keeping an eye on us. So weird. He'd like this nail, would Michael. It's a very um, Michael Jackson nail, I think. There you are, guys. Hope you've enjoyed that technique. You can use it for lots of different things. Everything I've used today will be listed below in the description box. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It costs nothing. It's just a click of the button. See you later. Bye-bye.